Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to the Blackwell Convergence. It's really good to be back playing this third game in the series, and really enjoying the graphical improvements as it kind of molds into the Wadjidai style that I'm familiar with. But um, we were able to help a man move on. We went to an art opening, but things are strange because we ran into a medieval garbed kind of queen in the afterlife, so kind of curious to see what's going to happen there. Looking to see if there is... Oh, Monique's card. I know that area. That's Astor Place. Cube Star Films. Does Monique have a real ghost story or are we just chasing shadows? Either way, can't hurt to check. So we met this lady at the opening and it was about an actor. So 247 Lafayette Street. Let's go ahead and see what's up. I'm ready if you are. Hold your horses, will ya? I'm coming. Can we stop by Starbucks for a coffee? Cube Star Films. Come in. <gasps> Kitty! Hi, Monique. Oh, hello. You're Anishanti's friend, aren't you? The writer? Yeah, that's me. I almost didn't recognize you standing upright. <laughs> Right. I don't usually drink that much. Well, we all make mistakes. Well, that's not awkward at all. Kitty! Nice view from up here. Please don't close the window. There's a reason why it's open. Oh, I assume because they can't. Those account books go back at least two years. I can't imagine being that organized. This poster is for a film called Water Under the Bridge. It stars Frank Lyons. This poster is for a film called Water Under the Bridge. It stars Frank Lyons. Oh, two posters. Mm. Monique looks pretty cool and confident behind that desk. I saw a cat on the window ledge outside. Oh, her? The company adopted her. She belonged to Frank. So, what do you do here at CubeStar? I'm the executive producer. In a nutshell, I make sure everything gets done, on time, and under budget. She whips everyone into shape, huh? I like her. So, you have a ghost story, is that right? Oh, yes. It's really nothing. Kind of embarrassing, really. Nishanti said it had to do with Frank Lyons. Yes, it was all over the news. You know what happened. Uh, I don't know the story. I know he died, but that's all I know. Yes, he's dead. I saw him die. He died while filming his last scene. It was tragic and all, but in the end, we had to finish the movie. We found a lookalike to complete the scene and then released it. That should have been the end of it. But the film was a smash hit. Really? It was that good? No, it wasn't. People only turned up because a man's death was attached to it. For years, we tried to create a moneymaker. And this is how we did it. Be careful what you wish for, Rosangela. That's all I'll say. So what happened next? Next? I hear him. You hear him? Over in Central Park, near the Gothic Bridge. It's where he died. I pass the area every morning when I go jogging. I can swear I hear him calling me. Really? It's like he's... Well, it's probably just my own guilty conscience. We profited from his death. There's no denying that. But what could we do? Give the money to charity? We have investors to pay back. Anyway, that's my ghost story. Take it or leave it. I say we take it. We haven't been to the park in a while. I'm completely okay with that. Gothic Bridge at Central Park. Oh, man. Some Willem Dafoe energy right there. Is that right? No, wait. I know this. What Sounds do you mean? What do you mean? Sounds like Steve Buscemi. I think that's Frank Lyons. He looks different in person. Of course, he isn't exactly a person anymore. Joey! Hello? Oh, hey. You with the company? Company? Oh, I guess you're not. They told me to meet him out here. I guess they're late. Are you Frank Lyons? You recognize me? Sure. That's... Thank you. That means a lot. Hey, I live to please. Sort of. So is that why Frank died, or became famous, is because he died? Died of a heart attack while filming his last scene. 
So, Frank, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, just waiting to finish up. Just one scene to go and I'm done. Finally. Done is the word, yeah. Hmm? Never mind. So, we're on a movie set? Yep. The film is called Water Under the Bridge. Really? Yeah. Actually, I'm probably not supposed to tell you that, but we're hardly Paramount Pictures or anything. Just don't tell anyone, okay? Oh, lips are sealed. You don't want to be working for Paramount Pictures. Are you sure this is a movie set? Yeah. Where are all the lights, equipment, cameras? You know, I'm not sure. They should be on their way. I don't know what's keeping them. Could you tell me the last thing you remember? What do you mean? I've just been hanging out here. And before that? I was... Hmm. Funny thing. Yes? The Minetta. The Minetta? Yeah. I was there. I'm always there. So his eyes got kind of wild there. Is that like a bar? Like the Viper Room? Hey, have you ever been to the Park Gallery down in Soho? No, sorry. I've never heard of it. What can you tell me about Monique? Miss Stallman? She's a good lady. I just wonder where she is. You expecting her? Yeah. We can't start without the executive producer, can we? I could swear I saw her run by a couple of times, but why wouldn't she stop? So, tell me about yourself, Frank. Oh, I'm just an actor. I just walk and talk the way they want me to. Oh, come on. There's gotta be more to you than that. I don't really need anything else. I'm not in the magazines, but I think I'm okay with that. I just want to finish what I start. It's commendable. Just what is the Minetta? Minetta? Yeah, what is it? The Minetta. I'm famous there, you know. You can always find a willing ear there and some donations for the fund. The fund? What fund? Yes, they are very kind. Why are you talking like that? Talking like what? Like you... Oh, never mind. Ew. Okay. Well, see you around. Sure. Bye. Is there anything else? What about me? What about me? Eh, good enough. See... Actually, can we go talk to Nishante, see if she's okay? Nishante isn't home. Yeah, she's walking it off. <clears throat> okay. Well, let's go ahead and do some research. I don't know what, uh, what her email address would be. Oh, auto login. From Rel... Rel Day Books. Dear Rosangela Blackwell, thank you for submitting your rough draft of The Devil and the Deacon to our editor. Unfortunately, we are not looking for new ghost stories at this time. We wish you luck in the future. Dear Miss Blackwell, I just want to touch base and see if everything was alright with you and yours. My door is still always open to you if you ever feel the need to chat. Dr. Quentin, Bellevue Hospital. Mm -hmm. For all your software and networking needs, contact Tomo. Rosangela, please be aware that a stay away policy has been put in effect against you by a Kelly Hawthorne. Should you harass her further, we will be forced to get the police involved. Tom Small, NYU Housing Office. That was uh, the student in the first game. I don't know who you are, but my daughter Susan insisted I contact you. She is home and resting and appears to be doing fine. Please stay away from us. Susan lost her two best friends as nearly her life and her mental health is fragile. Yuna Lee. Dear Rosangela, we reviewed your submission for The Devil and the Deacon. Unfortunately, novels of this sort are not what we are looking for. If you have anything else to share, please contact us. I mean, other than... I mean, Kelly wasn't exactly someone we'd want to hang out with, but it's good that Susan's okay. And I know that Dr. Qu Quentin's keeping an eye on us. Alright, what was the name of that thing again? Minetta. New location, Mineta Tavern. Mineta is a tavern in the East Village. It's not too far from my place. Serving the West Village for over 60 years, 58 McDougal Park. I'm ready if you are. 
Yeah, sure. Let's do the thing, Joey. Look at all this progress we're making, guys. Ooh, Tim Burton. He looks pleasant enough, even though it's practically empty in here. Black and white pictures of old celebrities. I don't recognize any of them. I don't know much about brands, but it seems like decent stuff. Back room. Portrait. It's a portrait of an old man. Hi. Afternoon. What can I get for you? Oh, no. I'm not here to drink. Not yet, anyway. I was hoping you could answer some questions for me. Really? Yeah. Is that a problem? No, it's just that this never happened to me before. You always see bartenders being questioned in the movies, but it never actually happens. You a detective? Something like that. Cool. How can I help? Hmm. <laughs> Have you ever been to the park gallery? No, sorry. Does a Monique Stallman ever come in here? Never heard of her, sorry. What can you tell me about this place? The Mineta? Been here forever. 60 or 70 years at least. I've only been here a few weeks myself, so I don't know much of the history. Oh, okay. I was wondering if you've seen Frank Lyons. Frank Lyons, the actor? Didn't he die a few months ago? Yeah, he did. I think he might have come here before he died. Hmm, well, we get all sorts in here, but I don't think we've ever seen him. Hmm. Are you sure you've never seen Frank Lyons come in here? Yeah, I'm quite sure. I think he's telling the truth. What can you tell me about this place? The Mineta? 60, I've only been here. Are you sure? Maybe it was somebody else's shift. No, I'm positive. See all those photos on the wall? We take photos of anyone remotely famous who walks in here. So if Frank Lyons came in, we'd have his picture somewhere. Oh, okay. Does a Monique Stallman ever come in here? Never heard of her, sorry. So Frank Lyons never came in here? Nope. If he did, we'd have his picture somewhere. I doubt the bartender would let me do that. Black and white pictures of old celebrities. I don't recognize any of them. So... Black and white pictures of old celebrities. I don't recognize any of them. Black and white pictures... I don't rec... It's a portrait of an old man. I wonder... Hi there. Got time for some more questions? Sure, ask away. Maybe we needed to keep on inquiring. The one thing about this game is you need to go back and keep on questioning folks. And that was established in both of the games. Maybe we need more info. Hello, Frank. Oh, hey. Funny thing, I went to the Mineta. They never heard of you. Why would they? You said you went there all the time. I've never heard of the place. You told me you were famous there. Famous? Yeah, famous at the Mineta. The Mineta? I go there all the time. It's like my second home. But you just said... Say, could you spare some money for the Joe Gould Fund? Joe Gould Fund? What's that? What's what? The Joe Gould Fund. I have no idea. But you just... Oh, never mind. Joe Gould Fund. Okay. Could you tell me what the Joe Gould Fund is? Why, you want to donate a couple of dollars? I would, if you could tell me what it was for. For the upkeep and maintenance of Joe Goulds everywhere, of course. Any Joe Gould in particular? Who is Joe Gould? You know what? Never mind. I'm getting a headache talking to you. Well, see you around. Sure. Bye. Let's, uh... As I'd like to, I can't leave without her. Damn it, where is that woman? Let's see... Let's talk to the bartender about the fund. And then we can go to Cubestar and ask Monique about it. Hi there. Got time for some more questions? Sure, ask away. Have you ever heard of Joe Gould or anything called the Joe Gould Fund? <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Sometimes I think they should just rename this place the Joe Gould Bar and be done with it. Really? People hear about him and they come in here to ask about him. That's his portrait up there behind you. He 
died a long time ago. Oh, the old guy. Who was he? He was some homeless guy who wandered the West Village in the 50s and 60s. He told some crazy stories, and people found him entertaining, so they gave him money for his food and his beer. He referred to the money as the Joe Gould Fund. He also tried to write a book or something. He never finished it? Nope. Hey, sounds like your soulmate. Oh! Um, this is the dude who, like, wrote the book about everything or something? Wait, hold on. So, some of the stuff that is- some of the stuff in this game is actually based on real people. Joe Gould. Yeah, a writer, passed away in 1957, was an American eccentric, also known as Professor Seagull. He claimed to be the author of the longest book ever written, an oral history of the contemporary world, also known as an oral history of our time, or Mio Tempore. Interesting. Oh, and he actually mentioned the Blackwell Convergence in his uh, Wikipedia entry. That's cool. Anything else you can tell me about Joe Gould? I don't know much else, sorry. If you want to know more, check in another time. Lots of artist types come in here. They all know about Joe Gould. Hmm. What can you tell me about this place? The Mineta? 60. I've only... Okay. Well, that's something. Let's go ahead and ask uh, Monique about the fund. Come in. Oh, hello. Again? Oh, Ilsa, you're back. Make yourself at home. You always do. Aw, oh, kitty. Okay, can we pet the cat? Let me pet the cat. Scratched me. Careful. That was Frank's cat. She's a mean one. It's okay. You deserve it. Cute cat. Thanks. But she's not mine. She was Frank's. Just between you and me, she's not very friendly. Have you ever heard of Joe Gould or the Joe Gould Fund? Sorry. No. Tell me about Frank. Frank? He was a solid actor. Not A-list material, but dependable. He could read his lines and hit his marks and look good on camera. He didn't demand much and he was easy to work with. We set him up with an apartment nearby. That was all he needed. That reminds me we still haven't moved his stuff out. I'll have to get on that. Frank's apartment. Okay. What do you think of Josie Park's gallery? Ugh, dreadful. Josie's a sweet woman, but her taste in art is somewhat questionable. Although it didn't drive me to drink, like some people. You know. What do you think of uh, Joe? Although. What else can you tell me about yourself? Is it relevant? Not really. Then there you go. Anything else you can tell me about Frank? Like I said, he was the dependable type. He was always willing to work with us, and he worked pretty cheap. I think he was waiting for his next break. He got one, all right. Have you ever heard of a place called the Mineta? Sorry, no. Have you ever heard of Joe Gould or the Joe Gould Fund? Sorry, no. You really rented him an apartment. That's very generous. Not really. The company owns it and it's rent control. We couldn't pay him much, so it was the least we could do. Can you give me the address of Frank's old apartment? Why? I just wanted to look around. I ask again. Why? Research. You're very dedicated, but I'm afraid the answer is no. I'd like to give Frank some bit of dignity. Oh, uh, come on. Are you sure you can't give me Frank's address? It would really help my research if I could look around. Everything you need to know about Frank, you can find on the internet. I don't feel comfortable having a stranger look through his things. Are you sure you can't give me Frank's address? It would really help my research if I could look around. Everything you need, I don't feel... Okay. Thanks for the chat, Monique. Sure. What? Oh, the account books. I can't think what we'd need them for. Oh, I figured you'd be able to look them up. Okay. Hmm. Well, I guess we could go Thanks ahead. Chat, Monique. Sure. Let's go ahead and look up Frank on the internet. See, maybe we can find the address through there. OK. 
sure. No results found, really? Oh, Frank Lyons, not Lion. City Post obituary. Frank Lyons, 26, suffered a fatal heart attack while on location at the Gothic Bridge in Central Park yesterday, best known for many roles in several independently produced films. Lyons leaves behind no family. His last film, Water Under the Bridge, is due to be released this spring. And that's it. Coming. Yeah, sure. So what do we do now? We need to find the we need to find a way to Frank's apartment. Hmm. Let's ask Frank. Wait, is that in the yes. Last shoot of the film, then we're done. Hello, Frank. Oh, hey. Hey, Frank, could you tell me where you live? Uh, sorry, but I hardly know you. Aw, oh, come on, you can trust me. I really don't think so. Sorry. Hey, Frank, uh, aw, oh, I really don't. Well, boo. Well, see you around. Sure. As much as I'd like to. What do we... I love the rain coming down even on the map. Come in. Oh, hello. Again. I don't think she'd want that. Is there anything that Joey could do in here? back means that I did good. Hey, little fella. Aww. That's adorable. What do we... Okay, hold on. Is she... Is he... Is the cat protecting something? to do blow on it water under the bridge what a boring title hmm <laughs> um. look at the way she's staring it's sometimes easy to forget that animals can see me She's a little black cat. I don't recognize the breed. She's wearing a little collar with an ID tag. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. Joey? Look at the way she's staring. It's so... Hey, little fella. Can we switch? Can we switch over? All right, Elsa. Let's see what's on your ID tag. 12th Street and Avenue A. Hopefully that's where we need to be. That was Frank's cat, huh? Address on the ID tag should hopefully be his. Okay, cool. Let's get out of the way before I get scratched. Thank you. Rosangela should take the cat home. Ooh. Okay. That's Frank Lyon's door. Or at least it used to be. What a... Lovely locale. One of Frank's neighbors, I assume. Locked. Go, paperclip, go. Key? Who needs a key? How's it going there? Oh, just fine. Almost got it. Uh-huh. Any second now. Damn it. What happened? The paperclip broke. It broke. It's jammed in the lock. We couldn't get a key in there now, even if we had one. The master criminal at work. You know... Joey, go in there. Once again, it's up to the dead guy to sort things out. Be my guest. 
Oh, that's not too bad. Looks like a food and water bowl for the cat. Oh, there's still some food left in there. Scratching post. Papers. It's a poster for a romantic comedy. Looks like our boy Frank had a supporting role. Looks like a film script. Act 3, Scene 2. Exit Park Night. I knew you'd come. How'd you know I'd come? I know you, Yvonne. Perhaps too well. Listen, I have to tell you something. Come on, your boats are going to leave any minute. I'm not going. Not going? What do you mean you're not going? I said I'm not going. You're staying? Yes, I'm staying here with Tom. Well, riveting stuff. There's nothing in there but junk. A bunch of magazines related to the film biz. Celebrity gossip, most likely. It's nice to see that some things never change. Looks like Frank was a collector of old film reels. I wonder what he played them on. I think this is called a VHS tape. It plays movies. It's supposed to be the latest thing. God, I feel old. It looks like a still from a moving picture. I think I recognize Frank in the background. Maybe Frank had a cold before he died? At least I hope so. I don't want to think about what those tissues were for. Yeah. Oh, sweet. A ball of yarn. For the cat, I guess. Looks like a poster for a B-grade Arabian Nights flick. Frank Lyons has got top billing. It's a movie poster. Looks like hard-boiled detective schlock. Frank Lyons starred in it. Frank's television, cold and silent. I don't recognize anybody in those photographs. Okay. Can we... I can't do anything with these except look at them. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's really anything that we can affect in here. Except maybe the ball of yarn. What am I supposed to do? Sing to it? Hmm. Okay. Um. Let's head back through. You sure this guy was in pictures? He didn't even have a hot tub. Was he supposed to? If I was in pictures, I'd have a hot tub. Well, naturally. Although, I did find something interesting. What? There was a piece of paper just lying on a table. Do you remember what was on it? Of course I do. Sounds like a film script. Probably the last thing he worked on before he died. You ever hear these lines in a flick before? No. I haven't gone to the movie since, well, you. Eh, makes no difference. It's probably not important. It might be. Okay, we got the script. Maybe we need to go ahead and... show these to Frank? I'm not actually holding the film script. Oh. Well, never mind. Hello, Frank. Oh, hey. Oh, okay. Well, see you around. Sure. Bye. Bye. I knew you'd come. No, I knew you'd come. I'm not actually holding the film script. Can Rosa talk? Um, hi there. I knew you'd come. Oh. Could I ask you a couple of questions? Huh? Oh, come on. It's not even close. We gotta Let's do the script. Again. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. I gotta look at the... Never mind. We'll talk later. Yeah, I think you need to practice some more. Ah, yeah, we do. That is too cool. Okay. So, we're able to talk to Frank. And looks like I'm gonna have to study the script. do you remember what was written on that piece of paper? Of course I do. How'd you know I'd come? Listen, I have to tell you something. I'm not going. I said I'm not going. Yes, I'm staying here with Tom. Alright, guys. We are going to go ahead and call it an episode. 
But when we get back, we'll uh, do some line reading here with Frank and see where it goes from there. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.